A theme is a background with a set of sounds and icons and other elements that apply just to that theme. And you have basically two types of themes. You have your default Windows Vista, and then you have your Windows Classic, which is the old Windows operating system 95 or 98. To change your themes, I'm going to do shortcuts here. Assuming that you've watched Windows Vista Level 1, everything I did was pretty much doing it the long way, in some cases clicking on the Start button going to the Control Panel. Now if there's a quicker way to get to a place, or in this case my personalization screen, I'm going to show you. So to get to my personalized screen, I want to find a blank area here on my desktop and right click, go down to Personalize, and there we go right here, Theme. Click on the theme, click on the drop down arrow, I have my modified theme, and well my modified theme is the same as my current theme here meaning that I took a theme and I modified it. What theme did I modify? Well, the other two themes I have are Windows Vista with the fancy little green, yellow, and blues in the background. Now this theme has its own background, its own set of sounds, icons, and other elements versus the traditional or classic Windows Classic. If you like something more blocky and square here, then select it, go ahead and click Apply. Give it a few seconds while it updates and all your windows will look like this. Kind of blocky, no transparency, no fancy colors, no rounded corners here. I'm not a fan of this, so I'll go back to my Windows Vista, click Apply. Of course, I don't get the background that I originally had, which was the dark blue. Let me click OK. See, I got my green here. So what I need to do is go to my desktop background, click on the drop-down arrow to Solid Colors. Now, this training video is in Windows Vista Level 1, so if you haven't watched it, your desktop backgrounds, how to change them, go ahead and watch it, because I'm going to fly through this and get back to my dark blue background. Next, I want to be able to change my window color and appearance. So my color right now up at the top you can see is a light blue. Click on the link, and that's the default color. Well, by default, this would also be checked, but I unchecked it earlier on. And what's cool about the transparency is that when you move your window around, you can see just kind of outlines of other objects that are behind it or other windows. In this case, you can see that it's my network here. But that kind of annoys me when I can see other things behind other windows. So I don't like the transparency effect, so I'll uncheck it. You can also change the color here of the borders to a blue and change the saturation to something deeper blue or all the way over to it has no blue, it's just a light gray. I go back to my default here. And then in addition to that you have the classic appearance properties for more color options. Click on the link and you've got your Windows Vista, Arrow, and Basic. And then you have your Standard and Classic. And you can see some of the subtle changes between the two. You just need to pick which one you'd like. These others I'm not a fan of. The high contrast, black and white, different colors. Now the difference between Arrow and Vista Basic is that Arrow gives it that fancy fade in effect when you open up a window. Like when I click on a link here for themes and the window opens up, it fades in. That requires more memory or more system processing power. So if you're running low on random access memory, and I have a training video later on in Windows Vista Level 2 on system information, you can check out how much RAM you have. For Windows Vista, 4 gigabytes is, is pretty good. If you can get a computer that's above 4 gigabytes, well, 8 or 12, that's fantastic. Just that uh, the arrow effect here is such a pig. Versus the uh, basic, when you open up a link or you open up a window, it looks the same as the Windows Vista arrow. They're both the same, except that this one just pops it up very rudely in front of you. It doesn't fade in, like gently walking into a room. And because that requires little effort, then it doesn't take up your system resources, in this case, uh, more memory, to be able to give you that cool effect. So that's up to you. If your system is slow and doesn't seem to process things fast, or loading up programs, then you may want to require less memory by choosing the Windows Vista Basic option, okay? I'm fine with Arrow. I have enough RAM. I've got about 8 gigabytes. And like I said, it's in the System Information Training video. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.